We're here with the 2013 season recap of the Wyoming Cowboys year. And I have to just say right off that it was an impressive year for the Wyoming Cowboys, finishing 9-4 and four on the season. And we're going to take a look on recapping some bowl games. The New Mexico Bowl, Colorado versus San Jose State, Colorado 31, San Jose 21. The, the Beefo Brady's Bowl, 30-21, to 21, Rice over BYU. And of course, the Las Vegas Bowl. Washington trumps Wyoming 37-31. Now, we're just going to go through. If you guys want to stop and look at every score, uh, go ahead. Uh, we're just going to pick some of the bigger ones. In the Belt Bowl, Florida State stomps Bowling Green 27-7. In the Russell Athletic Bowl, Clemson 42, Temple 28. The Monique Carr Care Bowl. Penn State loses to Texas Christian University 20-9. In the Music City Bowl, Auburn beats Virginia 35-20. The Chick-fil-A Bowl, Texas A&M takes on North Carolina. North Carolina wins 37-34. In the Capital One Bowl, Alabama takes on Ohio State, and Alabama wins by field goal, 51-48. In the Outback Bowl, Ole Miss takes on Michigan State, 35-34, one-point difference. In the Orange Bowl, Georgia Tech takes on Boise State. Boise State wins 30-16. The Cotton Bowl, Florida took on Kansas State. Florida won 21-7. In the national championship, South Carolina takes the national title from Oregon. And we're going to look at the Heisman winner. Johnny Manziel came in first. Taylor Martinez, a close second. Uh, DeAnthony Thomas, a third. Now we're going to look at the All-Americans. I'm just going to run through the list really quick. Manziel, of course, the quarterback. Thomas and Kerry, the running back. Huff, the wide receiver, M. Moore from Boise State, representing the Mountain West Conference. Matthews from Texas A&M, Lawan from Michigan, Norwell, and usually the Big Ten has a good bit of offensive linemen going to the All-American list. Um, McLegan and Clowney, both defensive ends. And Clowney wins the Lombardi. Kelsey Kors from South Carolina. There's at least two people from South Carolina making it. A Tauchu from Georgia Tech getting the best overall linebacker. Corey Nelson from Oklahoma joins the list. Joiner from Florida State. And the best return is going to be Jones. And the second team, Trey Mason. Huff is making the second team, the outstanding tight end from Boise State. Also, Leno, the left tackle. Hala Api Abi, second team All-American list. And middle linebacker spot. He was a leader on the defense this year. And the second uh, second team All American returner was Rhodes. Now let's take a look at the freshman list. Let's see if anyone from Wyoming made it, which of course they did not. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the All Mountain West Conference list. And our representative is going to be Brandon Miller, a running back. For the offense. He's going to be the only one on the offense to make it. Uh, Yarbrough, of course, leading the nation in sacks, uh, joins the list. Mertens, a defensive tackle. And Hala Api Api, the second, uh, second team All-American. Reese joins the list. And that's it for the first team. Second team, Strong, the left guard, joins it. And on defense, we have Ziocha. 
the right outside linebacker, Burns, the cornerback, and Darren White, the free safety, and also Claiborne, the returner. Now let's take a list of who won, who won uh, what awards. Menzel for Walter Camp as well. Uh, the Bedarek goes to the joiner. Nagurski goes to Jadavion Clowney. Menzel gets the O'Brien Award as a sophomore. Walker gets goes to Carey from Arizona. Bolitnikoff goes to Huff from Oregon. Mackey, the best tight end, goes to Huff, who was a second or second team All American, which is a little a little different. Uh, Lombardi goes to Jadavion Clowney, but Yarbrough comes in fourth place for that. Best outside linebacker goes to Tauchu. And the second team All-American, Hala Api Api, didn't even make the list. And so we're going to go to the season stats on the year. Um, Smith comes in second overall. Miller finishes the year with 835 yards. Heron leading the receiving core with 990 yards, almost a thousand yard receiver. And four out of the five top tacklers is on this defense. I'm not sure how to take that, but when push comes to shove, this defense held pretty well. Uh, you see Yarbrough uh, taking the nation's top spot on sacks, and also Burns with five interceptions on the year. Now we're going to take a recap of the complete um, schedule. The loss to uh, Nebraska in the overtime it was a heartbreaking loss, but we bounced back. We won against Idaho 35-23. Akron we beat 56-17. Air Force 45-7. Texas State 42-21. Then we got the bye week. New Mexico 31-17. Colorado State 31-28, which was a really close game. And San Jose, we lost in overtime with a late interception. Fresno State, 38-17. Boise State, 24-17 on their turf. Hawaii was a really close game, 35-27. Lost a late loss to Utah State in the rival game. That was a stomp, 57-14. And against Washington, 37-31. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't worry, there will be more soon. Have a good day.